Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's Cheyenne Marie here. I'm giving you my favorite things a holiday look of the year. I am using all of my favorite uh, beauty products from skincare to setting spray that I've accumulated over the year, and I want to share them with you guys. I'm also sharing some new techniques on how I use these products so they can perform at their best. I'm super excited to share this with you guys. I feel like this is long overdue. And I mean, I know it's the season of giving, so why not share a little bit of me with you? Stick around for more. If you are new to this channel, what's up? What's up? Hello, hello. Uh, let me know. Let me know down below if you are new. Make sure you like and subscribe and follow me on my Instagram, Cheyenne Marie PD, so you can stay up to date and chit chat and whatever. Also, hit the bell notification. That way, you can stay up to date with all my latest uploads. And uh, yeah, stay trending. Let's get into it. I uh, hope you guys love this video. I love you as well. Happy holidays. So for today's video, I'm going to start off my favorite things of makeup and beauty by utilizing, well I tore up, tore up the package, but utilizing the Burt's Bees Rejuvenating, or excuse me, uh, Brightening Biocellulose Gel Mask love this mask like I feel like I need to color correct more often that hasn't been a thing I've been getting into so I've been using like skin brightening masks before I do the full beat face you know if I'm going out somewhere this is what I would use uh, I prefer biocellulose it's a type of like combination of fibers and it's just like silky smooth on the skin it's a gel mask so it just feels even more to me, maybe it's just my head, but it feels so much more hydrating. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and remove, there's like two protective layers on it, one front and then one back. My face is cleaned, I wiped it down from any oils I had from, uh, I had accumulated throughout the day. I'm gonna go off it first. <laughs> And then peel off the second. It almost smells like cleaning products because I think it's like a citrus or whatever. Vitamin C, I uh, believe it does help to uh, color correct and brighten. Well, not color correct, I'm going to say brighten the skin tone for a more even skin tone. So, uh, citrus is usually the fragrance or two girl fragrance I've noticed with a brightening mask and stuff like that. So all this is the side that didn't fall. I'm gonna shake it out just a little bit. See if it loosens. And roll it up to my face and it naturally contours to your face so you can it's easily adjustable. Contours means it'll cling to your natural face shape. It'll adjust as it needs to. Easy to slide where you need it to go. And I love to put these in like the freezer or my refrigerator just because, um, or preferably my refrigerator, um, not my freezer because if I need it, then it's going to take time to defrost. But I prefer to put these in my refrigerator because it feels super smooth on the skin. It kind of has like a soothing property to it because it's a gel mask, so it just kind of a nice little way to refresh and soothe the skin. So the instructions say to leave it on for 10 minutes. So I love the fact that it's a quick mask as well. Leave it on for 10 minutes and you just rub in the excess and you're good to go. No whole wash and rinse to do. Just literally you put it on and you chill out. So we'll see you guys in about a couple minutes. Let me just give this 10 minutes to, uh, to do what it do. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, it feels amazing. Like, wow. Like, I feel like I'm going. Like, I feel like I have hydrated skin. Like, that's the whole goal, right? And it's not like a stickiness after the fact. Like, certain face masks have, like, a sticky serum. No, no, no. Baby is smooth. She's hydrated. And she's ready to go. 
For my eyebrows, I will be using the Essence Cosmetics Micro Precise Eyebrow Pencil. It is waterproof. The shade I am using, I believe it is uh, dark brown. Let's see if I can find it here. Yeah, dark brown. It's this cute little micro eyebrow pencil. And there's a lot of pigment. Like, I have to be careful when I use this because I will have really dark eyebrows. And for me, I tend to go lighter than darker. Well, not lighter, but I tend to choose a shade maybe directly under my natural brow. That's what it looks like. Um, I love to apply a little bit of pigment on the back of my hand to warm it up before I go in with the actual product itself. In the meantime, I have my, I'm trying to warm up my Shape Tape Concealer. It's gross, but I just like literally put it like between my legs or whatever, like my knees or whatever. Just to warm up the product. I don't know why I would choose to do that, but I'm going to do it today. Oh my god! Ooh! Y'all! I almost forgot to put on primer! The star of the show! So the star of the show is Morphe's uh, Revitalizer Primer. It came out with their Fluidity Foundation launch maybe a year or two back. Love this primer. I believe it is silicone based, but don't come for me because I didn't study cosmetology. I don't know if it's, I'm describing what it feels like. There's 20 milliliters of product in here, which is about 0.67 fluid ounces. It's like $12. A little pricey compared to other uh, other primers I've used, like the uh, Baby Skin Primer by Maybelline. I put my primer everywhere, by the way. Like I might not be doing it the way the Instagram beauty person would be doing it, but I put it where I feel like I need to put it because I ain't got time to break it out, y'all. the beat. So yeah. Um, it's probably a little, bit, a little bit more expensive than other like primers. I believe Baby Skin is about like six to seven dollars at like your local Target or whatever, or even Walgreens. But I love Morphe, and I am going to stand. Um, and you know what's funny? This isn't even. I don't think this is even the primer that I used before. Not the very first one I've tried. I think the first one I tried was the Equalizer one. And probably since I just brightened my skin, that would been that would have been the way to go. But it's amazing that I still love it. Like it's consistent. Like it still feels very hydrating. It's not acting chalky. I've had other primers. There's one by Makeup Revolution, I believe. Ooh, let me check. It's a sister company of Makeup Revolution, so it's a Makeup Obsession. And that one, it's a pore eraser, or whatever. I don't know if that has something to do with it, but it gets really chalky. And so I tend to have to mix it with like some kind of like facial refreshing spray or whatever. I'm sorry if it sounds like I have like a whole new accent. I'm chewing gum because I have somewhere to be. And uh, I'm too lazy to go and brush my teeth right now. In this moment. Don't come for me in the comments. The one time you actually want to comment. Don't send for me and my, my hygiene. Don't do it. So I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows per usual, once again with the Essence Cosmetics Eyebrow Pencil, Micro Precise Eyebrow Pencil pencil in Dark Brown. And since I am using a darker shade than typical, I'm lightly filling in just to give myself a shape. And then I'll bake the brow to kind of lighten it. I found out that helps for me. I prefer to go over it with a baking powder. After I spoolie and you know disperse the product, I'll go in and bake my eyebrows. It helps the eyebrow last a little bit longer and uh, soaks up excess pigment. And for me, it'll just lighten my eyebrows a bit. But I just love how clean of a look I get with the uh, micro pencil. Pull that out. Pull out the front just a bit. Like it looks like it's like microbladed. Like it just looks like there's a night and day difference. Like I like I prefer this one. So. I don't know what to tell y'all. I'm using my Tarte Face Tape Concealer. Ew, I hopped on the wave. This is the shade Deep Sand. And I am, I use it to 
not only conceal, but um, as kind of a, a slight highlight shade, if, you should, if I could say that. Because I do put it under and over my concealer, or my foundation, but I try not to like highlight to accentuate or to contour. I just bring just, you know, a slight more natural highlight than I would if I was using a lighter shade. If that makes sense. Like I'm not trying to highlight, but I'm trying to highlight. Like a subtle highlight, I guess. I don't do the extras too much anymore. That was a little bit too much. We're gonna ignore that. I'll fill that in. Let me put just a little bit underneath my eye. And this concealer is amazing, like It's just a godsend. Sent from God directly. Like he told me, you know, I'm about to drop this new concealer. You want in or you want out? And I said, no, oh, I want in. So I, I had to do it. It was in the Bible. I said I had to. Taking a damp beauty uh, sponge, I'm just going to go ahead and dab in my concealer. This isn't too damp as I would like it to be. And I keep a difference. It's like it's just staying. I've gotten into the wave of using the beauty sponges. I love it now. I don't think I'll ever go back. Like, honestly, I don't think I'll ever go back. It's so convenient just to have that one little, kind of like a multi-use tool. Because I can do my whole face, I can highlight, I can use it for my powder, I can contour, like, all with a sponge, you know what I mean? It's not the same sponge, which I do with the same sponge. But I could do, like, I have a whole jar full of sponges like I'm not playing games I'm set for the next couple of like months like oh. for a little while I'll say I am set tiny I will be beat to the gods for the next couple of months uh, until my birthday or whatever we will see how it goes unless I lose them all which is possible as well or I loan them out to my sister. So I'm cleaning my eyebrows just a little bit. I don't want to put concealer up top because I don't conceal above my eyebrows too much anymore unless I absolutely have to. But I try to keep it all below the brow just because I want to... I don't know if you can tell like, this one's really arched and this one's like it's an arch but it's whatever. I just try to highlight that like my natural brow shape instead of trying to like create a new brow. We'll see. If I want to create a new brow I'll go ahead and I'll conceal above. If I want to just do my eyebrows and get out, I can see it below. It honestly depends on the mood. I go in with the holy grail of makeup, period. The Jackie Anna ABH eyeshadow palette was good. I am in love. Like, when I got this palette, y'all, like, I don't get no PR packaging. So everything I do comes out of pocket, period. So, when she dropped this, I got it like the pre-launch like who got money like that but honestly it was like $50 or whatever with the shipping and everything included and I'm in love like like ooh if this let me see if this light's too if the light's too harsh like right about there ooh bomb period she did that she showed up and she showed out period let me stop saying that but yeah like I love this palette and I'm gonna do the most basic look with this palette, unfortunately, because I don't have any more eyebrow, like, pencils, or, uh, not eyebrow, but, um, eyeshadow brushes. So, I'm gonna use the Jackie Ina ABH palette, and I am going to create kind of like a soft little holiday look. I'm going to take, uh, let's see if I should, I'm gonna take Zam. That's this kind of, like, golden shade here. It's a loose, it's a looser shimmer, I'll say. And I'm gonna apply it to my lids. It's really gorgeous. I'm in love with like more neutral uh, shimmers now. And the more neutral, the better for me. And I'm using my finger to apply it just because I love like the pigmentation it pulls. Like I'm sorry, but nothing compares. Not a brush. Like nothing compares to me if you just use your fingertips. Going with edges and the shade Credit. And using edges first, I'm going to kind of use it to mimic where I want my shadow credit to go. And give it this nice kind of like cute little ombre 
mix effect going on here because it matches so well with the gold. Fluff it out and I'm using the wrong brush. I'm using a tapered brush kind of. Like I said, I don't got my brushes anymore, so then we just have to make do. Blend that all the way out. And I can use a tapered brush to kind of mimic the shape that I want, which is good. Bringing this onto my crease and slightly above uh, where I would typically put my transition. And then deepen that with credit by just applying it in the outer corner of my eye. Kind of like that. Like it's a simple, it's there, but it's not too overpowering if that makes sense. I should have did credit, or I should have done edges on both eyes. When the eyeshadow is done, as you can see, I'm going to go ahead and start applying glue, some dual lash glue to my lashes. Unfortunately, I don't have my favorite lashes for the video, um, but I'll say it here. My favorite lashes are Ari Lashes. She has an Instagram, underscore Ari, underscore Lashes. Let's see. Yeah. Um, I have her packaging here, so it's underscore Ari, underscore lashes, and I love her lashes, honestly, like, out the box, for my eye shape, they fit automatically, I don't have to tweak them or anything, good quality, durability, uh, and they're very affordable, like, she has faux and, uh, Robinique lashes, and they're the cutest names, cutest styles, and... I love her, like, she personally sends out a little card, a little thank you note, she makes it very personal for the customer, and I appreciate that. Personally, I love getting little mementos like that from uh, beauty companies and such. Let the lashes dry, or the lash glue dry out a bit, it'll get a little bit tacky. While I do the rest of my face, I'm going to go in with my drum roll, please. No drum roll? Okay. Um, well the Tarte Face Tape Foundation. So I got the tape, uh, the concealer and the foundation, both part of the Shape Tape kind of like collection. This is the shade Deep Golden. I'm going to use a pump and a half. A pump is just like, it's good. But for me, because I'm going out right now, a pump and a half is like really good. Let that sit on my hand. I'm going to remove the excess powder from my eyebrows. Let me use my brush then go on my spoolie just so I can help get the loose powder hopefully it doesn't take off my eyeshadow I'll be pissed because I do not have time to be going back and forth back and forth back and forth with the powder so taking my brush and spoon look how bomb that looks you guys like it just looks like I have natural brows or whatever like it's just so cute like it looks like my brow but it's not like crazy. Like I don't know. I love how I love how that looks. Like I truly do love how that looks. Like I might fix this right here. Let's see. Just right there, and then like that. So it's like a little, it's subtle. And then this brow, of course, is always perfect, you know what I mean? So, I can fix it all I want, but to me it just comes out bomb. Brush it out a little bit. Brush it on my Brush it on my Brush it on That's done. My eyeshadow is okay. I apply that foundation. Ooh, ooh, got a little bit of fallout, but it's okay. It's not a lot, it's not a lot. It's uh it's workable. And honestly, I don't even need that much foundation. I'm kind of probably going a little bit overboard. Cause you really just don't need that much. I'm just extra as fuck. Now my foundation's on. I'm gonna go ahead and take my concealer. Let me just go a little bit underneath my eye right here because I don't like what that looks like. I might go in with some more uh, shadow, but I don't know what that looks like. 
taking my concealer, I'm going to go ahead and hit my highlight areas here. The bridge of my nose there. Or the sides of my nose. Then the bridge. Right about there. Looks crooked, but whatever. Okay, I'm there. Let that sit and get tacky just for a little bit. So now that I'm all done and I'm highlighted and I'm looking cute and I'm almost beat to the gods, I'm gonna go ahead and um Apply just a little bit of the powder underneath my uh, highlighted areas or underneath my eyes into my highlighted areas. I take the uh, sponge, I dip it in the product, and I dip it on the back of my hand and just kind of go over it just because I don't want too much. And the little bit that I do put is enough, trust me. It gets the job done. And if I ever need more, I just go back over my hand and then I got more versus going heavy into the product. Now using my Wet n Wild uh, Primer Toner. Oh no, it's a Prime Set and Refresh Three in One Primer Water. So you can just brush up, touch up your makeup. You can set it. You can use it as a primer. It's three in one. I use it just to kind of midway refresh my face before I'm adding like anything extra, like the highlight, the um, the blush, or if I decide to contour, the contour powder, or whatever else extra I decide to do. I go ahead and set down my base and then I continue from there. And it's usually after I bake because the powder will kind of like remove color from my face. So to bring everything back to light, I go ahead and spray. And this is the uh, cucumber scent. Oof. A lot goes so far because whatever, however the projectile of the spray works, it's amazing. My lashes should almost be done, so I'm going to go ahead and use my Maybelline Falsies Mascara. It's a waterproof mascara. I've been using this religiously. I get so upset when I can't find my mascara because this is my holy grail. Like, it helps, especially when I do put on actual falsies. When I don't, it looks like my lashes are like 10 feet long. Like, I love this mascara, and you'll never catch me without it unless it's by accident. I'm willing to try others, but so far, this takes the cake. Um, I put the mascara on, then I go ahead and put on some lash glue to help seal down my lashes even further. Um, despite having glue already on them, making them tacky, I just do that for extra coverage. I find out it works and helps me uh, hold my lashes a little bit easier. See, like without mascara, my lashes look 10 times better. Or without falsies, with the mascara, it looks a lot better. Like it looks amazing. Like. That's so cute. Go ahead and uh, let this dry down a little bit. In the meantime, I will be going in with my Shayla ColourPop collection, uh, the Under Construction collection, I believe. I'm using the shade Construct Blush. It's very natural. I'm just gonna go ahead and lightly apply that to my the apples of my cheeks by coming downward on towards my cheeks little trick I learned from a Naomi Campbell video. He said going the opposite way makes you look a little bit clownish. So we didn't have any clowns anymore in uh, 2020. So we're moving forward. We're going down and then blend onto the apples of the cheeks. And she's right. Like it looks soft maybe because it's a disbursement of the uh, pigment coming down. But it just looks like it kind of gives your face a little lift and it just looks a little bit more natural to me. If you were to blush or whatever, it would be kind of like this area. So, it helps. You learn from the best. Ooh, I love when my makeup comes together, you guys. Like, you guys just, it's a whole vibe. So, while my lash glue on my actual lids are drying, I'm going to go in with my favorite highlighting palette. This palette is old, y'all. Like, this shit done expired. 
years ago and it's only good for 12 months but she's still got some life to her so I'm gonna go ahead and use that I'm gonna go in with the shade bronze and a little bit of a tourmaline on top this shade got some pigment to it too bronze is a little bit more natural highlight you know like I look like I, I drink water on a daily basis I have a natural skin glow I'm gonna put that tourmaline on you look like oh she you're dripping in diamonds and gold and all that, that glittery shit, you feel me? That's bomb. Now I can go overboard with this, so um, mind your business. Let me live my glittery life. I'm shining like those little like metal men on the side of the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Just let me live my life. When you look at I'm just seeing Christmas lights, y'all. <laughs> but you know, I just gotta show up for the one time, for the one time, for the pictures, honey. Going over the highlighted areas with my blush. Maybe kind of a little bit more blended. I feel like I put more highlight here, but I'm not sure if that's just the light reflecting. Yeah, no. It's just how the light reflects. Gonna put on my lashes, and then I am almost done, you guys. This is almost a full face of my favorite looks, or my favorite products. My lashes are on. Oh. Oh. Bam! Like, <laughs> we almost done, you guys. Like, I'm so proud if you made it this far in the video without, like, clicking off, getting bored. Like, she done doing nothing extra, you feel me? I really, like... That's what you the wrong way. Okay. Now I feel like I can go ahead and set my face. Just go over certain areas a little bit. Fill in the lash line itself before I set it because everything needs to be done for me. The look is not complete without my bottom lash line being done anymore. My girl has transformed. I'm going in with edges from the... Uh, Gigantic palette. I'm just kind of applying it there. That's cute, right? Oops. One thing about these lashes, honey, you will not be seeing anything for a couple days. Like these, you might as well claim the design. No lie, y'all. Like, I could use this as, like, a highlight. Sometimes I do just be, like... You feel me? Like, just... A little bit of an extra... A little extraness just for the holidays. We are almost done! I keep saying that, but we are. We truly are this time. Like, I really mean it. From the bottom of my heart, we almost done. 
I'm gonna go ahead and set my face finally with the so torn. I'm gonna use this one. I picked this up at TJ Maxx thinking it was gonna break me out. It is a coconut and rose makeup setting spray by Pearl Essence. And honestly, this is a banger. This is a bop. Like, truly, it truly is iconic in its own way. Like, I love it. I'm trying to clean up the excess on the side. I truly do love it. I think it does what it does. And it's hydrating. Like, coconut and rose water, like, that's like the ultimate in setting sprays and facial uh, refreshing sprays. Like, it's just amazing. I let that sit and then I take my beauty sponge and then I kind of like press into the uh, foundation and setting spray combo but I'm gonna let it sit just for a little bit and just so I can do what I do. I don't press it too heavy. Pressing into the foundation after applying a setting spray helps it hold and last a lot longer you guys. Especially if you have like a big oily skin. And your makeup tends to move a lot more in your skin and slip, do this. Like, I feel like it will definitely make a difference in your routine. For me, it does. I used to have oily skin. I have more of a normal, maybe combination skin now. But this does it. Let me go ahead and finish my lips. I don't know if I should do a bold lip. Yeah, I'm going to do a bold lip. Like, like that. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and use this uh, Makeup Essence Nude, or this is Nude, shade number 8. And I'm not going to line my lips just because it's a dark shade, so there's no need. I'm going to warm it up on the back of my hand. I just tend to do this. You don't have to do it. Okay, that's it for today's look. Thank you so much for watching. I'm glad and I hope you guys enjoyed this look. The simple kind of like, well not too far from simple. Let me give myself my credit. This really cute glam holiday look using my favorite things within beauty and makeup. Just, I want to share a little bit with me, with you guys for the holiday season. I think this time of year is truly the time of year to give back and I'm excited to share this with you guys. If you like this video or if you want to see more or stick around for more, please like and subscribe. Comment down below some of your favorite products. Like, I want to know if you guys see any favorites in this video that you guys like or if you guys uh, have your own favorites outside of this video. Share it with me if you guys like this. If you guys uh, thumbs up any of these products, please let me know. Also, follow me on my Instagram, Cheyenne Marie Beauty, all one word, one name, whatever. And post your looks. Uh, hashtag me in them. I want to see what you guys come up with. I'm very interested and invested in my Instagram community followers. I love you guys so much and happy holidays. Bye, boo.